Okay, so we are now going to use that QR value that we scan with our QR code. I'm going to use it to kick off all of our communications between our two prototypes, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come to our triggers panel. We're going to add a detect trigger. And we're going to detect our QR code variable. So that's the variable we created down here in the variables panel. Okay. And we're going to basically detect that, remember detect detects that something has changed. So as soon as it receives the value from the QR, it's going to trigger that detection. So we can just literally use the fact that it's detected something. We don't care what the value is. We're just going to use the fact that it's detected something to kind of kick everything off. Okay. So we're going to add a send response inside of this detect trigger. And this is where it kind of gets interesting. So normally you would kind of use sense current scene or sense component here. We're going to choose a completely different channel. It's going to be Protopie Studio. Okay. So we're going to select that. This is basically connect. Okay. So it's not called connect within Protopie Studio. It's actually called Protopie Studio, which could be slightly confusing maybe, but that's the way it is. So that's what you, that's the channel you need to choose. And as with all messages, we just need to create a custom message and it's completely up to us what we, what that message is. So I'm actually going to create a message that's going to say sign in TV. And remember messages are case sensitive. So I'm just using camel case here. So that's my message. And that's all I really need to do at this point. So let's just review. We're going to scan the QR code. The QR code mechanism is going to save that value into the QR code variable. Our detect trigger is going to recognize that a value ha has arrived in that variable and it's going to send this message, sign in TV to Protopy Connect. Okay. So next up, we're going to look at what we need to do inside of the TV app. Hey, so here we are in our TV app. So you can down, you in, again, you will have this prototype, this starter file um, already created for you. So you want to open the TV app Pi file. And it's quite a simple app. We've got this first screen, which has got our lovely QR code on it. So same QR code as we, as we created previously. And this has basically got two scenes. It's got this, this scene one, which is a QR code, and it's got scene two, which is our fake logged in state. Okay. So that's, all we've got here. So let's, let's kick off and start creating some interaction. So obviously, as we know, we've sent a message to connect. We now need to receive that message from connect. So we're going to add a receive trigger. And again, we're going to choose that Protopy Studio as the channel. And we need to type in the message so it can't introspect those messages. Um, unfortunately, it'd be really great if it did, but it can't. So we have to kind of make sure we type it correctly. So remember our message was sign in TV. And it kind of had some case on it. So it's going to receive that message from Protopy Connect. And actually in my prototype here, I've actually created a component, a basically an, an activity indicator component. So this is just to kind of give it a bit more realism that uh, it feels like there's actually some some data transfer going on. So we're just going to like delay it slightly. So I'm going to give you this component for free. You've got it embedded inside the Pi file and effectively it will do the kind of little loading animation. And there's two messages that it actually, that we can actually work with. There's a message to kind of start the activity indicator and there's a message to stop the activity indicator. Okay. So we're going to add a send message. And we're going to send it to the current scene and we're going to look for start activity. So we're going to choose start activity and we're going to duplicate this. Send response. And we're going to choose end activity. We're going to delay this by three seconds. We want our activity to pretend to be kind of whirring away for three seconds. Okay. So that's all we need to do on that side of things. Okay, so next we need to receive our end activity message so we can do two things. We need to send a message back through Connect to our mobile app to tell it that we signed in. And then we also need to advance in this prototype onto the home scene so we're in the logged in state, okay? So to do that, we're gonna add a receive trigger and we're gonna receive that end activity message. Inside of that, we're gonna add another send response. So this is gonna be the message sending out to Connect. So we're going to choose Propi Studio and we're going to make this message 
say signed in using camel case. And then the second thing we need to do is we need to add a jump response and we're going to select our home scene. Just going to turn it, change the transition to slide in and we'll leave it at right to left as before. Okay, so that's all we need to do in the TV app. So we need to just go back to the mobile app to close the circle, do a final, a few final bits with that, that extra message we've received and then we'll be ready to test. So see you there. Hi there, so here we are back in the mobile app prototype. So what we're gonna do here is we just need to kind of receive that second message. So we're gonna add a receive trigger. We're gonna choose the channel ProSpy Studio. And again, we need to type, we need to time this, type this in, sorry. So this, what do we do? It was um, signed in, wasn't it? Signed in. So that's the message that the TV prototype is gonna be sending us, okay? So we're gonna receive this message and we actually wanna advance the mobile prototype onto this kind of your in screen, okay? So that's quite simple. We're just gonna add a jump response, uh, jump, yeah, jump response. And we're gonna choose the TV scene. And again, we're just gonna choose a slide in and we're gonna leave that at right to left. Okay, so we can save this. And that's um, all we need to do inside of our prototypes. We now need to hook them up with the ProPy Connect app so we can actually run it. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we are. I've rigged up a third camera so I can, I can show you both prototypes running at the same time. So I've got my computer monitor here and I've got my phone. Okay, so we're gonna use ProSpy Player on my phone to run the mobile prototype. Okay, so all we need to do is we need to grab our two Pi files. We're gonna drag them into ProPy Connect, so on in the left-hand pane here. And we're gonna be seeing all the messages running between the two prototypes on the right-hand pane. So we, and this is a really good way of debugging effectively. So there's two ways we can run our prototypes. One is we can boot them up in a browser on our computer, which we're gonna do for the TV app. So I'm just gonna press this monitor icon. And you can see here, this is my TV prototype running in the browser. So kind of come back to connect and I'm going to connect the mobile app to my phone. So it's just gonna use the QR code as you would do with any prototype that you wanna run on in ProPy Player on your phone. So I've got ProPy player running here. So I'm just gonna scan this QR code, get this prototype running. Okay, there you go. We've got the mobile prototype running there. Okay, let's just uh, switch back to here. So let's kind of run this. So I'm going to sign in, get my little handy dandy little animation, and I'm going to hit the sign into TV app button. And this is gonna launch the QR code player. So I'm going to scan the QR code. And there you go. So both, both prototypes have interacted with each other. You can see that the QR code has been scanned and the mobile prototype has been advanced. Also the TV app has also been advanced. It sent that message back to the mobile prototype and you can see both of them actually transitioned in exactly the same time. So really good latency there. Okay, so if we just have a quick look back at ProPy Connect, you can see I've got two messages. I've got the sign in TV message, which got sent from the mobile app, and we've got the signed in message, which came from the TV app. So you can see both two messages were logged there. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video, looking at how you can use ProPy Connect and the new QR code scanner in a multi-device prototype experience. Um, hopefully this has given you some inspiration to create your own multi-device prototypes. There really isn't a limit to the amount of prototypes you can connect. So you could have like a 10 or 12 screens, all kind of with prototypes all independently talking to each other. So that will be something really cool. Okay, so if you've liked the video, please give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe to the channel. It really, really helps me get the prototype message, the prototyping message out there into the world. More designers need to be using ProtoPy and need to be prototyping interactively rather than being stuck statically inside of Figma. So that's kind of my mission, trying to, trying to get people to get, to get designers to kind of design more inside of an interactive environment. So hopefully you can help me kind of do that. So please subscribe. Okay, so without further ado, I'll leave you to your day and I'll see you next time.